welcome to TFI, and in this video we're going to be going over a real life example of something that I've just done, which I'm converting into a video which someone else might find useful. Uh, it's all to do with intellectual property protection in your 3D models, right? So obviously this isn't the real life example that I use, but it's it's a similar principle. So I've got an assembly here, and I needed to send it to China, China. China. minus uh, some bits inside. So the bits in the assembly, so say for example it was these pins here, right, or these screws. Uh, these are from a supplier and on the drawings the supplier sent over with their 3D models they had a confidentiality statement on them and they're not to be sent anywhere else so what we need to do is send this assembly minus the screws but we need to put something in the screws place rather than just have empty holes so with Inventor 2018 it might be in earlier it might be in 2017 I don't know I don't know at this point I don't care I ain't going back and looking but I know it's an inventor 2018. You've got this thing on the assembly, right? So you need to be in assembly, obviously. You need to be in assembly. And then on the assemble tab or panel, you go to the simplification area here. You hit the drop down menu and then you go to define envelopes. All right, you give that a click. And this little mini toolbar thing pops up. And what you do then is you make sure that this one here is turned on. This is called select all occurrences. And that makes sure that when you select one pin, it grabs them all. You also want to select this option here and hide the original. And that's about it for now. And then what you do is you pick the object that you want to remove, well, remove, replace, replace with something else, All right? Give that a click. And then when you zoom into it, it's going to replace the pin, the screw, with a bounding box solid, right? It's not going to make it circular. It's not going to make it pretty. But you can change its size by grabbing these arrows if you want to. But it's going to replace the, the part with a bounding box. And then you can pick the color of the bounding box that you want to replace it with, right? By default, it picks a face on the part that you're replacing. So it's going to turn black. And then you just click OK. That's pretty much it. It's going to remove every pin with the bounding box. And then there you go. That's what you get. It's not pretty. It's not meant to be. But it's removed that part from the assembly. Not quite yet, actually. Not quite yet. It's created this envelope feature at the top of the browser, right? That envelope feature contains every every screw in the assembly is now contained within that envelope right so you can call this you know removed screw so the, the the recipient of your assembly knows that something was there they've just got no idea what it is right this is so because we were going to remove the original we need to go and find the damn thing if i can remember what the name of it is so i'm basically ah talk screw there they are there so right it's turned off the items that it replaced with the bounding box or so anything that's turned off here we're going to shift select all those right click and then delete and uh, yes, I know there's problems executing the command, there'll be constraints and whatnot assigned to them, but now that they're removed, they're gone. When you right click on the envelope, there's no show original anymore because it's we've removed the original and now all you're left with is delete. And that's pretty much it. So that's good, that's good. It's now removed those sensitive parts. We can now save this assembly and then send it over minus the uh, the intellectual property which we needed to remove and that's how you do it that's pretty easy i quite like that actually i've used that in real life just did now uh, for a bunch of springs in an assembly which weren't allowed to be sent to china china and uh, worked to treat there you go ip removal you're welcome i'll see you in the next one toodles